Hey guys, this is Liz Kinnade from Sleek Lens. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use our photo release templates. I'm going to show you how you can customize the templates for your specific photography business. So I've got this picture pulled up right here and you can see this is what one of them looks like but there are five different templates so if you don't like this specific one or this style you can head on over to sleeklens.com and look at the other styles we have as well. So I've got this one right here and as you can see on the front of it right here you're going to have your photographs, uh, the name of your studio or your business and then on the back here you have your permission to print contract. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up the two templates. So when you receive the templates they're going to look like this. You're going to get the front and the back and what you're going to see are these white uh, white backgrounds with the red instructions and to get rid of that the first thing you're going to do is either delete these layers or turn them off. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit the little eye icon right here and turn them off so I can go ahead and see the template. I'm going to do that with the back as well. And I'm going to show you guys how you can insert your photographs into the template and how you can customize the text here. When you do download the templates, you will get a link to download the text that comes with them. Um, so if you want to use this specific font, you can use it, or if you'd like to use your own, you can change the font as well. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that. The first thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to insert your photographs into the template. So the first thing you're going to do is go to the clipping masks folder down here and open that. And that's going to show you each individual clipping mask and where each photo is going to go. So I'm going to head to my photos that I already have open in Photoshop. And I'm going to start with this one. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use the selection tool here. And I'm just going to select the entire photo. And I'm going to edit copy. If you're on a Mac, you can do Control or Command C. And then I'm going to go back to my print release. And what I want to do is select the clipping mask that I want. So I'm going to go ahead and put this picture on this bottom clipping mask right here. So I've selected that clipping mask. I'm going to click Edit Paste. And what you want is you want the layer that's going to go in that clipping mask to be above that clipping mask. So now that it's in here, I can go ahead and move it around. So I'm going to go use my Transform Controls here. So Show Transform Controls. And I'm going to basically just place the picture where I want. If you need to, you can of course make the picture bigger or smaller and then you can go ahead and place it how you want it. Now as you can see it's not fitting completely in the box so once you have this selected the layer is over top of the clipping mask. Select the layer. You're going to go up to the layers tab up here and you just want to hit create clipping mask and that will trim the photo to fit in the box and you can still move the photo around as well if you'd like. Alright so I'm going to go ahead and insert another photo now. Again we're just copying and pasting Going back here, and for this one, I'm going to put this in the top corner. So I'm going to paste it. So as you can see, this photo is huge because this is actually a raw file, it's not a JPEG. So I'm just going to, once it's in there, I'm going to show transform controls and just make it a little bit smaller. All right, and I'm putting this photograph up into this clipping mask here. So again, you're going to go to Layer, Create Clipping Mask, and it'll crop it right in the box for you. And you can, of course, add whatever photos you want. Take away clipping masks. You don't need to use all of them. So going back to the front again, I'm going to put this one in here. So just remember to paste the layer above. Resize it to the size you'd like. Position it. And once you've got it in position, go ahead and layer create clipping mask. So I'm not going to go ahead and fill the rest of these boxes, but you'll understand how you can use your own photographs and add them into the clipping mask. So once you've added all your photographs in, you can go ahead and close your clipping masks folder. And the next thing we're going to do is look at the text. So basically if I go ahead and click this little text folder, it's going to show me right here what it's selecting. 
So here you can either leave it to say photography print release, you can delete this if you want, or you can change it. If you go ahead and hit the folder that says your studio and you open that, that's going to show you exactly where all the text is and all the lines. So here we have lines one and two that's corresponding to these lines. The your studio text, which you can put obviously your studio's name or your photography business name and the word photography. And of course you can delete any of those, take any of those away. And the logo is there as well, which you can delete and insert your own logo as well. So now that I've showed you how the front of the template works, I'm going to go ahead and show you the back. So before the same as with the front, we did have these two layers right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and actually delete them instead of just turn them off. So you're going to go ahead to your text folder and open that up. And you're going to get the one permission to print text up here, which you can either change or keep. And then here we have a box of Latin text that you can go ahead and put your own photography contract in there and your own permission to print. All right, so now we're going to go to our details box and that's basically going to show us what everything is in this box right here, which is also text as well, but we do have kind of lines. So we're going to go and we're going to look at the text here and the text will say exactly what it says on here. So if it says your studio photography, that's going to bring you to this line right here, which is where you would insert your studio or your business and then your website. And then of course, right here, you can either customize these right here or you can just leave them the way you want. So as you can see, these templates are really great because you can add your own images, your own text, and you can customize them to your own business. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to use the photo release form templates, and you'll be able to try it out for yourself.